Hi, I'm Miranda Meehan, NDSU Extension Livestock Environmental Stewardship Specialist. Today we're going to be talking about water quality and how to sample to test water quality. Water is an important but often overlooked nutrient. Good quality water can have a major impact on cattle's intake and weight gains. Uh. Studies have shown the quality of water accessible to livestock is directly tied to the amount of forage they consume. Studies report improved gains by as much as 0.24 pounds per day in yearlings and 0.33 pounds per day in calves receiving good quality water. We recommend testing for total dissolved solids, sulfates, and nitrates. The salts are the TDS, reduces the palatability of our water. While they decrease palatability, elevated levels of TDS may not be harmful to livestock health. However, some salts may be toxic at high levels. These levels should be less than 5,000 parts per million for most classes of grazing livestock. Sulfate recommendations are less than 500 parts per million for calves and less than 1,000 parts per million for adult cattle. High sulfate levels can reduce copper availability in the diet. Elevated levels of sulfates may cause loose stool, whereas very high levels of sulfates can induce central nervous system problems and disorders. In North Dakota, we have a higher risk of elevated sulfates due to the geology of a lot of our aquifers. Nitrates themselves are not toxic to animals, but elevated levels can cause nitrate poisoning. Nitrates should be monitored in areas adjacent to fields where they receive runoff for that field or adjacent to feedlots. Elevated levels of nitrates can also cause algal blooms. Most algae is not toxic to livestock, however, there's a bacteria called cyanobacteria, which is more commonly known as blue-green algae. This algae, or bacteria, is toxic to livestock, wildlife, and humans. It responds to sunlight and appears in stagnant water during hot, dry weather. So we often see it um, late summer and during periods of drought. We recommend that livestock producers test water quality prior to livestock turnout, especially if their water sources have had water quality issues in the past. When collecting and submitting a sample for analysis, it is important to follow the livestock water testing guidelines. Collect sample in clean one quart or larger plastic or glass container. Plastic is preferred. Sample containers can be obtained from your extension agent or the watershed coordinator with your local soil conservation district. Collect sample from the area where livestock are drinking. If collecting cyanobacteria or blue-green algae, take sample in the bloom and wear gloves as it can be toxic to humans. Rinse container several times using the water to be sampled. Fill container completely, being sure to collect water from both deeper in the water and the surface. Label the container with the following information name of water body, name of sampler, date collected, time collected. Seal the container tightly and wrap the top with tape to prevent leaking. Place the water in a sealed plastic bag. Complete laboratory sample custody form required to be submitted with the sample. Contact the laboratory if needed. If submitted cyanobacteria sample, ship immediately on an ice pack by next day delivery. Do not freeze sample or leave on the dash of your vehicle. Avoid temperature extremes as these can compromise the sample. It is recommended samples be collected and shipped before Friday to avoid shipping delays. Many commercial laboratories and the NDSU Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory provide testing for livestock water quality and specialized testing. The cost of basic water quality testing is approximately $25. Water quality should be monitored throughout the growing season or grazing period. This is important because water quality will fluctuate throughout the season depending on the amount of water in the pond and the weather. For example, during a drought, as we lose water within our, our pond, the salts and sulfates within the pond become more concentrated. This is similar to if you have a glass of salt water and the water evaporates. We have the same amount of salt, but we have less water. And so those, that component becomes more concentrated, increasing the toxicity of the water. 
So it's important to continue monitoring throughout the grazing season. For more information on livestock water quality, visit the NDSU Livestock Extension webpage.